Welcome to the series of video lectures on analysis and design of algorithm. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss the reliability design that is based on the dynamic programming. Through this lecture, we will discuss how to use the dynamic programming to solve the multiplicative objective function. Now, first of all, we will discuss what is reliability design. For example, if we are having a system consisting of number of devices in that and the output of one device is the input for the next device and finally we will get the output at some stage. Let's say these are connected in series and here it will, will get the output and this will be the input. This is device 1, then device 2, device 3 and we can have n number of devices. Now let's say the, the probability this device will work properly is say R1 then R2 for the second stage, second device, R3 and so on. Then if these devices are connected in series, what will be the overall probability of the system that we can represent this like that will be Ri. That is 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot up to n. For example, at this stage, the reliability for each device is common. For example, the Ri or the R is 0.99. Then, what will be the overall reliability of this system? Now, as we know, the reliability at the next level will be multiplied. And hence, we can say that the overall reliability will be R to the power N is equal to 0.99 to the power N. Let us take N is equal to 10. We are having 10 devices in this system. Then, what will be the probability? So, if we solve that, the probability will be 90.904. Now, some instances may occur, kabhi aisa ho sakta hai ki yadi maine devices series mein lagai hai and if at any instant this device do not work properly, yadi is device mein work karna band kar diya, to iska effect ye hoga ki pura system collapse ho jayega. Ye jo system hai, reliable system nahi kehlaega. Is problem se bachne ke ek tarika ye ho sakta hai ki divide this system into some stages, at each stage we will replicate the devices. Let's say this is stage 1 and it, at this stage I am going to use device D1 and 3 copies of D1 I will use. At the second stage I will use the second device and we are using 2 devices and so on. At the next stage I may use D3 that to be in the quantity of 4 and so on. At this Last stage, I am going to use dn device and that too of m copies. Or yadi mein is tarike se koi system design karta hu. If I use some devices in parallel at each individual stage, it may enhance or increase your overall reliability. How? Maan lete kisi, kisi instance par yadi ye device d3 ne stage 3 par work karna band kar diya, to hum usse reject kar denge aur baki devices ko use karenge at this stage. So overall, जो आपका system होगा, वो working condition में होगा, हम ये कह सकते हैं कि हमारा system ज़्यादा reliable होगा. किसी भी worst condition में आपका system work करेगा. So the idea is to use multiple devices simultaneously at each individual stages so that कि यदि कोई device आपकी malfunction करती है, work नहीं करती है, तो उसी stage पर जो दूसरी device use करके system की reliability enhance कर सकते हैं, बढ़ा सकते हैं. So this is the basic concept. Now, some theory regarding that. Let's say at stage 1, I am using device 1. There are 3 copies of device 1. The reliability of this device D1 is R1. The reliability of this device D2 is R2. The reliability of this device D3 is R3 and so on. So first of all, I should calculate the overall reliability at this stage only. फिर उसके बाद मैं अगली स्टेज पे ओवरऑल रिलायबिलिटी कैलकुलेट करूंगा इसी तरीके से हर स्टेज पर जो आपने मल्टीप्लिकेटिव फंक्शन जैसे कि हमने बात की थी यहां पर वी हैव यूज्ड मल्टी मल्टीपल डिवाइसेस सो मल्टीप्लिकेटिव ऑप्टिमाइजेशन फंक्शन हमें सॉल्व करना है यूजिंग द डायनामिक प्रोग्रामिंग तो मैं हर स्टेज पर अब मल्टीपल डिवाइसेस को यूज करने के बाद जो रिलायबिलिटी होगी उसको ऑप्टेन करूंगा उसको कैलकुलेट करूंगा सो इफ आई एम यूजिंग M1 number of devices. Here we are using M2 copies of device D2 at stage 2 and we are using M3 copies 
that is the count basically here what is m3 m3 is equal to 4 m2 is equal to 2 m1 is is equal to 3 and so on is tarike se main har stage par kuch copies use kar raha hu and that is represented by m commonly i can say that i am using device di with the reliability of that device as ri and i am using number of devices and i'll represent it as mi so what is that device di with reliability ri and at any stage at any ith stage i am using mi number of devices then the reliability at this stage how we can calculate at any stage so that can be obtained now this is the probability that the ri is the probability that that device will work properly then if i am using mi number of devices then what will be the probability at this stage so let us discuss it the reliability or the probability that this device d1 if i am using m1 copies of the device this will not work properly the probability will be 1 minus ri to the power mi this is the probability where this device will malfunction at this stage and hence this will be the probability that at this stage the system will collapse or will not work but i want the probability that the system will work properly so i'll just subtract this from one so this will be the reliability so i will maintain a function that is phi i m i this will be the reliability at any ith stage i will define this function as this is the reliability at any ith stage if i am using mi number of copies of any device di this will be the probability at this stage where this specifies that this is the reliability at any ith stage as we have discussed this will be the reliability at any ith stage where ri is the reliability of that device which is used at this stage and mi is the number of copies of the device which are used at this stage then what is the reliability problem we should define it as mathematically we have to maximize reliability function we, we are representing phi i mi as the reliability as we have discussed just now as the reliability at any stage i so ranging from i should range it one less than equal to i less than equal to n so if i combine the reliability of all these stages so this will be the overall reliability and we have to maximize this reliability this is our objective function that is the multiplicative objective function now what is the com condition or limitation so we should discuss that now each device di has a cost ci let's say for example the cost of the device D1 is C1, cost of device D2 is C2 and so on. Then there is a function where we have to maintain the overall cost of the system within limits. Means we have to design a system which should not exceed a specific cost of the overall system. Let's say C is the cost of overall system. Means we should not exceed this cost C. This is restriction with us. If we have to devise, we have to use the multiple devices at each stage, but the overall cost of the system must not exceed this limiting cost of the system. So we are discussing that. Yadi pehli device ka cost C1 hai, dusri device ka cost C2 hai, is tarike se har device ka kuch cost hoga, to hume ye obtain karna hoga ki har stage pe bhai kitni maximum devices use karu, jisse ki aapki har stage ki reliability badhti jai, aur is tarike se overall system ki reliability bhi kya ho jai, badh jai. So, there is another condition. First, we have to maximize the overall reliability where phi i m i is the reliability of any stage i. So, we have to vary it from 1 to n there are the n are the number of stages now let us say c is the cost of the overall system and ci is the cost of any device di then this must be subjected to the sum of costs that is ci mi must be less than equal to c again this i must range from 1 to n now let us discuss that. What is that CI? Just abhi humne kaha, CI is the cost of any device 
ith device and what is mi mi is the number of devices or the copies of the devices which is used at any stage i so these are two conditions we have to maximize the overall reliability this is the reliability of each stage so we have to calculate the total reliability reliability at each stage and the cost the cost must be restricted the sum of cost at each stage must not exceed the overall cost here this mi must be greater than equal to 1 and this i will vary from 1 to n so this is all about the reliability design now we have to calculate how many number of device we can use at any stage har stage par main kitni maximum devices multiply ya replicate kar sakta jaise yahan par humne teen devices liye ye four bhi ho sakti thi two bhi ho sakti thi to hame har stage par ek upper bound calculate karna hoga ki har stage pe hum maximum kitne devices use kar sakte hain and the formula to calculate the number of device that is mi basically at each stage but this is the upper bound and this mi will be the exact count what is the difference between that u and mi both are the number of devices that can be used at ith stage but ui is the upper bound means the maximum number of devices that can be used at any stage and mi will be the exact number of devices which can be used in this system satisfying this condition that is the overall cost must not exceed is formula se hame ye pata lag sakta hai ki maan lete i ki value 1 hai first stage par maximum 3 devices aa sakti hai lekin aisa ho sakta hai ki final count first stage pe kitna hai 2 to this may vary both are the count but this is the upper bound this is the exact count of the device so what is the formula the formula is c plus ci minus the sum of all the costs given that is 1 to n divided by ci so this is the formula now let us discuss what is this c is this c1 that is the limiting cost what is ci ci is the cost of any device di what is the sum of cj means this is the costs of all the devices and again what is ci that is the cost of the ith device so with this formula we can get ki how many maximum number of devices can be used at any given stage so this formula will be used in the calculation part so this is all about the theory related to reliability design so please do like share and comment subscribe my video channel don't forget to press the bell icon thank you